In this video, I will demonstrate what I think is the coolest feature of the TS3310. The TS3310 limits the input current and is still capable of providing short bursts of load current that are well beyond its maximum limit without collapsing a coin cell battery. To demonstrate this, I have chosen typical components in a restaurant pager for the TS3310's load. Now let's take a look at how the TS3310 limits the input current. One of the most convenient batteries due to its size is the LR44 coin cell. Since coin cells can exhibit high internal series resistance that could potentially collapse the terminal voltage, limiting the maximum current drawn from the battery is very important. The TS3310 limits the current drawn from the input source by selection of the inductor. Therefore, a 55 microhenry inductor is selected. By limiting the maximum average input current to 18.2 milliamps, the maximum output current is limited as well. Looking at the graph displayed and assuming a typical battery voltage of 1.2 volts with a load present, the expected maximum DC output current is 5.62 milliamps. Now let's take a look at the application circuit schematic. The TS3310 is programmed for a 3.3 volt output with the LR44 battery. To accommodate the larger load, a 1.5 farad super cap is used. The microcontroller is connected to the store output. Connected at the switch out output is the low energy Bluetooth receiver, LEDs, and vibration DC motors. By utilizing the switched out output feature and the 1.5 farad super cap, the microcontroller can periodically service the load, allowing the load demand to be much larger than the maximum DC output current that was calculated previously. For my measurement, I've substituted a 310 ohm resistor, which represents the peak current consumption, in place of the low energy Bluetooth receiver. To represent the microcontroller during active mode, a 1.6 kilo ohm resistor is connected to the store output. To emulate how the microcontroller would service the load, a function generator is used to control the logic input out on. Now let's take a look at the circuit in the lab. The circuit is connected with the LR44 coin cell. The battery's terminal voltage is measured here. The current drawn from the battery is measured here. The store output voltage is measured here. The function generator is set for a burst mode of four cycles. The pulse settings are displayed here. The period of the pulses is 500 milliseconds, while the pulse width is 110 milliseconds. The two motors and LEDs are located here. The oscilloscope will display the logic input out on in green. The store output of the TS3310 will be displayed in yellow. The oscilloscope will measure how fast the store output recovers after servicing the 132 milliamp load. As shown, the TS3310 is able to supply four consecutive 110 millisecond pulses of 132 milliamps while still limiting the maximum input current drawn from the coin cell to 18.5 milliamps. Within 13 seconds, the TS3310 is ready to service the load again. As demonstrated in this video, the TS3310 is capable of limiting the input current drawn from the source by selection of the inductor, and is still able to service loads that are greater than its expected maximum by utilizing a switched output. Thank you for watching.